Asfax. In its first major redesign since debuting in 2018, the Husqvarna Svarpilen 401 gets a host of updates for 2024, thanks to its partnership with KTM. Featuring an all-new engine, chassis, electronics, and a refreshed style, this already well-regarded urban bike becomes even more appealing. Despite the upgrades, the 2024 model is only $150 more than last year, making it an even better value. Aimed at riders who want a blend of style and fun, it's hard not to smile when riding this uniquely designed machine. Ideal for navigating city streets, the 2024 Svarpilen 401 is compact, lightweight, and easy to handle. Weighing in at 351 pounds with a larger 3.4-gallon tank, the bike remains unintimidating. The upright sporty riding position strikes a balance between fun and functionality, offering enough forward lean to encourage spirited rides, yet still comfortable enough for everyday commutes. The wide, scrambler-style handlebar adds confidence in slower, tighter maneuvers. However, like its predecessor, the new mirrors still catch your shoulders. So Husqvarna's bar-in mirror accessories might be a worthwhile upgrade. Self-canceling turn signals are a nice convenience. Two, eliminating one less thing to worry about. The seat height has dropped by 0.7 inches, now at 32.2 inches, making it a bit more accessible to newer riders, though the bike feels slightly wider than it looks. For someone with a 30.5 inch inseam, flat footing the bike in motorcycle boots is just possible. The two-piece seat offers a comfortable yet firm base, perfect for a mix of sporty rides and daily urban commuting. The scrambler-inspired design of the Svarpilen 401 gives it a rugged, adventurous appearance, though Husqvarna recommends keeping the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires on the pavement. With wire-spoke wheels, a skid plate, and ADV-style tires, the bike hints at off-road potential, even if it's more of an aesthetic nod. This design creates a captivating persona, suggesting readiness for adventure without ever getting those Pirellis dirty. While the stock tires can handle occasional urban dirt paths, the 17-inch rims aren't built for serious off-road action. The Svarpilen 401 thrives on the rough city streets and winding suburban roads, adapting to your riding style. Whether you're cruising calmly or pushing the limits, depending on the traffic or the watchful eyes of law enforcement, Performance gets a boost with an all-new engine and revamped exhaust system. The LC4C engine's longer stroke increases displacement from 375 cubic centimeters to 399 cubic centimeters. Although the horsepower and torque improvements are modest, they kick in earlier in the rev range, making the single-cylinder engine even more practical and fun for urban riding. Despite its scrambler looks, the Svarpilen is always ready to deliver sharing its engine with the KTM 390 Duke. While not exactly ready to race, the Svarpilen 401 is definitely ready to play. A standard quick shifter lets you shift without using the clutch, sort of. Although it sounds great for new riders who are still mastering hand-foot coordination, the quick shifter isn't flawless. Upshifting in the lower gears can be a bit clunky, which is where beginners need the most help. However, experienced riders will enjoy the quick shifter especially when pushing the 401 to its limits. The faster the engine revs, the smoother the shifts become. Downshifts, on the other hand, are handled smoothly by the quick shifter, making it a fun feature for spirited rides. The slip and assist clutch is a welcome feature on the 2024 Husqvarna Svarpilen 401. Even on a smaller displacement engine, I'm happy to enjoy a light clutch pull at the 5 position adjustable lever. The 401 will surely be an urban motorcycle for many, and negotiating traffic or splitting lanes means you'll be making liberal use of the clutch. On the other end of the spectrum, should you botch a downshift while riding aggressively, the slipper feature should bail you out by letting the clutch slip instead of locking the rear wheel. Additional electronic aids include power modes, traction control, and an adjustable speed limiting function. Street is the power you'll almost always use. If conditions get slippery, or you're a new rider wanting to reduce the intimidation factor, you can switch to rain mode, where the throttle response is tamped down. Adjustable traction control allows you to choose between street, rain, or off. Again, street is the default setting for most rides. Should you want to keep your top speed in check, you can set a maximum speed that no amount of throttle twisting will override. 
This is not a feature I will be using, as I enjoy the 100 miles per hour maximum speed now and then. Though, to be fair, the maximum speed can be set as high as 100. With an all new steel trellis frame, swing arm, and some suspension tweaks, the 2024 Husqvarna Swar Pilot 401 is ready to sprint through tight turns with utter confidence. The new frame adds rigidity that translates to precise handling, encouraging me to sling it through the local twisties. While not the Vipolin 401, its sport-focused brother, the Smart Pilot does a good impression, hobbled only by its ADV rubber. The WP Apex suspension's primary job is to keep the ride comfortable on real-world abused urban roadways, while still being firm enough to enjoy the sportiness of the torquey lightweight bike. The inverted WP Apex fork has five levels of rebound and compression damping available, enough to customize your ride without getting lost, and no tools are necessary. The off-center mounted cantilevered shock has spring preload and five rebound damping settings. The Bybree brakes are well matched to the Svarp Island 401's capabilities. The radially mounted caliper up front has a soft initial bite, which is appropriate given the bike's intended audience and a firm squeeze of the lever delivers confidence-inspiring control and feedback. Yes, I can ride with small bike slash high RPM enthusiasm on local mountain roads, and who doesn't like that? Bosch Cornering Aware ABS contributes to trust in pushing the Pirelli ADV tires and braking hard into corners. Those who really want freedom can disengage the rear ABS by switching into supermoto mode, which allows the rear wheel to slide. The rear disc is 10 millimeters larger for 2024, and the feel at the pedal is dependable and effective. Despite its small displacement stature, the 2024 Husqvarna Svarpilen 400 and one holds its own on aggressive urban freeways. You will be running the thumper above 7,500 RPM to keep up in the number one lane, though you'll feel the buzz at the grips despite the motor's counterbalancer. Even at 80 miles per hour, Decent acceleration is still available, at least with my 115 pound frame aboard. The new frame and swing arm give the 401 a slightly longer wheelbase, contributing to the stable feel at high speeds. Meanwhile, the tiny fly screen takes the edge off the wind blast. Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires are a stylish choice for the Svarp Island 401. The long and wide knobby blocks of the Pirellis provide a reasonable contact patch for fast, sporty rides while staying focused on the task at hand. Sure-footed traversing all indignities of city and suburban roadways with some visual enduro cred. The Rally STRs handle rain-grooved concrete freeways impressively, something that can't always be said for pure street tires. The fuel tank on the 2024 Svarp Island 4, a one holds almost a gallon more than last year's oddly low capacity tank. With a rated fuel consumption of nearly 70 miles per gallon, the new tank increases.